Hi everybody, this is NZ Tech Freak once again with another video for the Clove blog. Uh, this time I'm just going to show a few things in relation to gaming on the Samsung Galaxy S. Uh, but the thing that's probably going to interest most viewers the most about this video is the fact that, as you can see, I have my Galaxy S2 connected to an HD television using an MHL cable adapter. Now I was lucky enough to be sent one of these today by the MHL Consortium. They're largely unavailable to retail channels at the moment, but you are starting to see some of them through various places. So if you keep an eye out and you're quick to swipe the credit card, you may be able to pick one up sooner than, than most people. So just to demonstrate that for you, what we have here is my Samsung Galaxy S2 connected to the MHL cable adapter here, an HDMI cable here, going to the television, and of course the power source. And like the official Samsung cable adapter, this one does actually require power in order to work, and I wasn't sure that would be the case, but can confirm for people who had that question that it is definitely needed. So just to dive right in and show a few things with the phone, um, first thing you'll notice, I have my home screens in landscape. Those of you who saw the GSM Arena demonstration of this will notice their consternation they couldn't get into landscape, all they needed was a launcher that's capable of showing home screens in landscape. As you can see, going quite nicely. And I think maybe just en route to showing you some of the gaming things, let's just stop off briefly just to show you what HD video looks like via this cable. What I've got here is an official demonstration video from DivX. If we look at the details, they're not actually displaying on screen, but it's a 1920 by 1080p high definition DivX movie. And this is a free sample supplied by DivX themselves. Now, maybe the video isn't picking this up the best, but the video quality here is stunning. Absolutely looks beautiful and playing without a hitch from the phone. Um, so, enough of that. This basically will turn your Samsung Galaxy S2 into an extremely capable portable media player. Now onto some of the gaming aspects. First of all, I wanted to show something a lot of people may not have seen. That's using a phone joy controller. That's this one here. This is a Bluetooth gamepad, um, which is compatible for use with most of the emulators that were recently pulled from the Android market, now available at the Slide Me market, and also compatible with a few of Gameville's games, so Illusia and Xenonia, to name the two that I'm aware of that this works with, besides the emulators. So we're just going to jump right on in and take a look at Mario Kart. Just load my save game. And I'll map the keys appropriately. And obviously, if any of you play the, the emulators using on screen controls on a, on a smartphone, it's not that comfortable experience with something like the phone joy obviously much much better much more like a console experience in your back pocket and as you can see this is just running beautifully on the Samsung Galaxy S2 so that's enough of that working really really well as you can see to show something that some people are probably becoming aware of, the fact that although this Samsung Galaxy S2 runs Samsung's Exynos chipset, um, you can actually run some exclusive Tegra 2 games, providing you're rooted, and you've got a little application here called Chainfire 3D, which will let you load NVIDIA drive graphics drivers for your phone. Now, 
There's several that work. Fruit Ninja THD works, Samurai Vengeance works, Pinball HD works, and others not yet working. So if I try to open Riptide GP here, you'll see a black screen and very shortly it'll dump me back out to where I was. So unfortunately Riptide GP, which is probably the premier Tegra 2 title at the moment, is not working with Change by 3D. But we can go something else, like Samurai Vengeance. Now hopefully it's just showing up pretty well on the screen there. Um, but essentially this is running extremely well. I really can't tell the difference in terms of how well this is running in comparison to my Galaxy IO tab, which is of course a Tegra device. Quickly, also show you Fruit Ninja THD. Now, the great thing about Chainfire 3D is it'll actually fix the market for you so that these Tegra 2 games will be visible in the market and you'll be able to pay for them and you download them. My keyboard playing aside, I think you can see that this is running really nicely. And the difference between this one and regular Fruit Ninja is quite apparent when you've got it connected to a 42 inch television. And this is how you know it's the THD version, you can see THD here, and it also has the nifty split screen multiplayer mode. And obviously I'm going to win here because I'm unopposed. But running great. a few of the gaming solutions I really wanted to show you here on the Samsung Galaxy S2 and one final thing to quickly show, although it won't be that quick because of the loading times, this is uh, Gameloft's Modern Combat 2 which is now purchasable from the Android market which is a departure from their previous uh, DRM practices and obviously one of the, uh, the better high quality games available on Android. We're just going to watch a bit of the intro video here. And as you can see, even scaled up to the big screen, it's still looking pretty good. Let's just skip that, get into the game itself. As I said, loading time is not ideal in this game. We'll kick in in a second. So we'll just continue my save game for a few moments. During Operation Sandstorm, the chief took out Abu Baha. For Operation Black Pegasus, he's cleaning up, going after Baha's partners. Gazi is on an abandoned oil rig and may be the key to finding the others. Clear each floor of any enemy presence. Locate information about Abu Baha's associates. Take enemies by surprise. Use stealth tactics whenever possible. The graphical glitch you can see on the text there is present in all of these. Now the game itself. Okay, listen up, Delta Squad 3. Our main. Running 
really smoothly here on the Exynos chipset. So that's it for now. Just a quick rundown on some of the gaming that can be had on the Galaxy S2, including Tegra 2, ex supposedly exclusive games, and of course the emulator titles, which are now available at SlideMe. Gonna come back with another video very shortly so showing this same setup, but with Bluetooth keyboard and mouse, using the browser and some other things to show you just what a great setup that can be. And also a little bit more about the video playback for the Galaxy S which is just superb. So to demonstrate a few more of the video codecs and so forth that are supported with the Samsung Galaxy S2. So that's NZ Tech Freak signing off for the class.